Watch yourself. I'll have your hands for that! Help me! Somebody help me! Thief! has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, Try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaler districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. You come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way, and not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. That's from one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then.
You've no reason to be here. Leave now. Who accept him as their thing? These men hold evil. Bother someone else. Stand up, friends! Do not allow yourself to be sent to slaughter based on the whims and wishes of an uncertain king! We must rely on men who are stronger in their convictions. Men like William of Montferrat! Stop! Uh, enough! Enough! What is it you want? Gold? I have a few pieces on me. Take them. Take them and go. It's not gold I seek, but information. I know nothing! You know William. Tell me how to reach him. It's impossible. He meets at the king. And when will the king be gone? Today. But it won't help you. They're sure to argue. And then William will retire to lecture the soldiers. So it always goes. Richard berates William. William berates his men. He won't see you. I already told you. I need to see William. I never said he needs to see me. Then our business is done. Not yet, I'm afraid. There's one last thing I need from you. What is it? Your life. <laughs> What news? Grim. I finished my scout. A direct assault won't work. What's the trouble? Archers. He's got them all over the fortress. And no easy way to reach them. They'd pick us off before we'd made it ten feet inside. You've kept a record, yes? Aye. I've marked their positions on a map. Bring it to the others. No doubt they'll have a use for it. Very well. I'll go at once. Stay strong, brother. Yes. And you. Thank you. 
Back again, Altair. Always in need of a hand to do your dirty work. This time, Al Muelim did not order anything. It is just for my own pleasure that I ask you to find some Masia flags I've hidden in Richard's district. Since I am a loyal assassin unlike others, I will tell you what people are saying in Akka. It is important information. But this time, try to come back to me faster than the first time. He's gonna hurt himself. And when he done, Kill him, ah, no, wouldn't it be funny if he hurt him? The family's sick and dying. Could you How are you? you <laughs> Your hard work is changing my opinion of you. Here is what I know about William of Montferrat. He and Richard had a disagreement before the king left for Jaffa. Since then, William stays in his citadel, surrounded by his army. Do you have what it takes to attack him in this protected environment? We'll see, but I am still doubtful. to embrace William. He is old and thinks too much of himself. His army is the largest beyond the Osinon. We'll have need of them. For now, I'll go and visit with the other brothers. Make sure they have everything they need. Aye, they must not fall. Fear not, the master has a plan. Even now, he prepares a way to turn our losses to his advantage, should it come to that. What does he intend? The less you know, the better. Just do as you've been instructed. Deliver the letter you carry to our master. Altair. You scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Now, why is he doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Why 
What a relief it is to know that I am safe. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open, even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. When is he going to stop this nonsense? Altair, what brings you back so soon? I've done as asked and armed myself with knowledge. Speak, and I will judge. William's host is large and many men call him master, but he's not without enemies. He and King Richard do not see eye to eye. It's true, they've never been close. This works to my advantage. Richard's visit has upset him. Once the king has left, William will retreat into his fortress to brood. He'll be distracted. That's when I will strike. You're sure of this? As sure as I can be. And if things change, I'll adapt. Then I give you leave to go. End the life of Montferrat that we may call this city free. I'll return when the deed's been done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. This place is restricted. Be gone! thousand souls, William. I was told they would be held as prisoners and used to barter for the release of our men. The Saracens would not have honored their end of the bargain. You know this to be true. I did you a favor. <laughs> oh, yes. A great favor indeed. Now our enemies will be that much stronger in their convictions. Fight that much harder. I know our enemy well. They will not be emboldened, but filled with fear. Tell me, how is it you know the intentions of our enemies so well? You who forsake the field of battle to play at politics? I did what was right, what was just. You swore an oath to uphold the work of God, William. But that is not what I see here. No, I see a man who's trampled it. Your words are most unkind, my liege. I would hope I might have earned your trust by now. You are Arca's regent, William, set to rule in my stead. How much more trust is required? Perhaps you'd like my crown. You missed the point. But this is nothing new. Much as I'd like to waste my day trading words with you, I have a war to fight. 
We'll have to continue this another time. Do not let me delay you then, Your Grace. I fear there will be no place for men like him in the new world. Send word that I wish to speak with the troops. We must ensure that everyone is doing their part. Warn them that any negligence would be severely punished. I'm in no mood to be trifled with today. Yes, my lord. The rest of you, follow me. what I have to say. I come from speaking with the king, and the news is grim. We stand accused of failing in our duties. He does not recognize the value of our contributions to the cause. For shame! He knows nothing! He's wrong! Peace! Peace! Hold your tongue! Aye, he speaks falsely, <clears throat> but his words are not without Rest now. Your schemes are at an end. What do you know of my work? I know that you are going to murder Richard and claim Akka for your son, Conrad. <laughs> for Conrad? My son is an arse, unfit to lead his host, let alone a kingdom. And Richard, the Oncino is no better. Blinded as he is by faith in the insubstantial, Akka does not belong to either of them. Then who? The city belongs to its people. How can you claim to speak for the citizens? You stole their food, disciplined them without mercy, forced them into service under you. Everything I did, I did to prepare them for the new world. Stole their food? No. I took possession so that when the lean times came, it might be rationed properly. <coughs> Look around. My district is without crime, save those committed by you and your ilk. And as for the conscription, they were not being trained to fight. They were being taught the merits of order and discipline. These things are hardly evil. No matter how noble you believe your intentions, these acts are cruel and cannot continue. <laughs> we'll see how sweet they are, the fruits of your labors. You do not free the cities as you believe, but rather damn them. And in the end, you'll have only yourself to blame. You who speak of good intentions. Get 
that kid! Kill him! Stop him! Montferrat is dead, and with him his plans for betrayal. You've done well keeping Akka from his hands. But why now, when the Crusaders require unity most? Could have waited. Waited for what? For Richard to return and discover his schemes? No. It was the perfect time for him to strike. Strange. I was sure he meant to take Akka for Conrad, yet he claimed this was not his plan. You cannot trust the words of a snake, which even in death produces venom. I should discuss this with al Mu'al. Yes, my friend. Make haste for Masiya. I am sure he is eager for news. Fast-forwarding memory to a more recent one. 